Christmas on the right. We not playing. We not playing. What up, Major Rig? Hashtag DOTG with back. Hashtag boots on the ground with back for what's mine. What's good in the hood? How y'all feeling? Yeah, got something for you. Boots on the ground. You know what I'm saying? We put the tires to the pavement. Check out where we at right now. Oh, oh. Chieftain Museum. Major Riggs home. We don't pull up on him, homie. We don't pull up on him, family. Trail of Tears National Historic Trail. Yeah, we don't pull up on your major rigs. What's happening, homie? Yeah, 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 yeah. The people say they want to know. The streets want to know what's happening, what, what went down. So are we pulling up at your house? You know, we gonna, we gonna get to it. Yeah. Chieftain's Museum. Yeah, 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 I'm back with back. Hashtag BOTG with back. Boots on the ground with back. Major Riggs house. We're gonna get in there and see what's happening. Y'all know how we do it. Gotta do a little recon work first. What's this here? Can y'all see that family? Major Rig, principal chief of the Cherokee tribe of Indians, moved to this spot about 1794 and built this dwelling, modernized by later owners. His ferry and trading post made this farm a tribal center. Here was negotiated final treaty of the Cherokee removal, 1835-1838. Hmm. This is where the trail of tears. This is where it was signed at. Elias Boudino, Major Riggs, and Major Riggs' son, Lil John. Yeah. Boots on the ground, baby. We get the books and the looks, and we put boots on the ground. And we put it all together. That glare back there, get in some of this shade. See what's going on. See what's going on. Major Riggs Ferry, that shadow is bad. In the early 1800s, Cherokee planters conducted most of their commercial trade using ferry system to the rivers and smaller waterways that flowed through the region. Between 1800 and 1826, the Cherokee agricultural economy increased significantly because economic growth in the Cherokee nation depended on transportation. Leaders expanded the railroads to improve river crossing and ferries. Ferries crossing were one of the most valuable property holdings in the Cherokee Nation that became sources of increased wealth for leaders like Major Riggs and John Ross. There you go. There you go. And Major Riggs, like, and also John Ross, like was said, they said they were mixed breeds. Um, Riggs married 
a Cherokee woman. I believe her last name was Gold, G-O-L-D, and she was mixed. I'm gonna get the steel for you. I'm gonna get the steel for you. You know, I got you. We gonna keep it moving. I just wanna show y'all a little bit, but there's something I just passed that I want to speak on that's important. So let's go here. The earliest reference of Major Riggs Ferry appeared in the law passed on October 13, 1819 in New Achota. That's very important. This is where we are. On September 21st, 1836, George Lavender certified that the ferry had he had operated for Major Riggs was a valuable asset. He certified, stated, this is certainly, this is, this is to certify that I have raised the number of years at Major Riggs Ferry to the Estana Ocala, not Ocala, Ostana, I know that's wrong, River. And some six to seven years ago was considered to be very as valuable as any within the nation, Cherokee Nation. I think I have, I think that the above ferry six, five to six years since made from the four dollars per day, three to four dollars a day would equal between seventy five dollars and a hundred dollars in 2015. I mean, you got four. That's better than the lottery. But anyway, we're going to keep it moving. Yeah, yeah. Chieftains. At this house core is the 1790s log home of Major Riggs, 1771-1839. A leader in the Cherokee Nation. Now, this says 1771. Remember in Georgia, the uh, King George II and... and um, James Overthought didn't pull up to 1733. They had a charter in 1732, got in Savannah, Georgia, 1733. So that's 1771, I'm just saying. But we'll get into him too, King George. Yeah, but anyway, we are in uh, Rome, Georgia. When you're in Rome, do as the Romans say, they say. But we in Rome, Georgia, USA. You know what I'm saying? So uh, back to it, back to it. His 223-acre plantation supported numerous outbuildings, orchards, and slaves. Don't get confused when you see the slaves. I know we've been taught to see one phenotype, one complexion, and all coming from one continent. Nah, nah. But anyway, while the family served as ferry boat operators and merchants, it was here the council negotiated the treaty of New and Culture. There it is. This is where it happened. In 1835, which promised the Cherokee land compensation for voluntarily moving. Voluntarily moving? What kind of hijack is that? <laughs> voluntarily moving. I'm just reading what it's safe, family. I ain't put it there. Moving to Oklahoma, their forced removal Hold up, wait a minute. It say voluntarily in one sentence. Then it says forced removal. Well, you gotta pay attention. Can't tell a lie unless you mix it in with a little bit of the truth. That's for you to be sharp. You better be on your A game in these streets. Became known as the Trail of Tears. Anybody family that been on the Trail of Tears, salute you. Uh, and everybody didn't walk. I just want to make sure we know everybody didn't walk. Some got on boats, some got on trains, some walked. And we had uh, different trail of tears. Um, some ran away, you know, that part. Anyway, Riggs knew the death. Riggs knew death was imminent. Yeah, Indian law for selling the tribal lands, but believe the treaty to be the only means to save his people. They made a decision, some say, you know. He, his son, and nephew were murdered 
in 1839. And uh, with that said, I want to shout out Big Chief Top Cats, legendary Top Cats. You know what I mean? Um, he do a build on that, what happened. So y'all can tap into him on YouTube. Maybe he can break it down further what happened. But we're going to keep walking. We're going to get to it. We're going to get to it. Hashtag BOTG with back. You know what I'm saying? Indians wasn't enslaving Indians, um, and there wasn't no Indian slave trade. But here, right here, we are at Major Riggs, the big Cherokee chief of the Eastern Band. And this is what this says, slavery among the Cherokee. Let me zoom in. Long before the African slave trade existed in America, there was evidence of intertribal servitude and slavery slavery throughout the various nations native nations that live here however slavery for native americans was often the result of warfare with slaves being taken from conquered tribes these slaves from other tribes were often allowed to assimilate into their captors society and the condition of servitude did not transfer from parent to child and we know that when in Americas, this was more matrilineal. Everything ran through the mother. Foreigners brought the patrilineal. Everything runs through the father. So they made the law if the mother, which is of this land, was a slave, then the child would be a slave. That's how you keep the business going. It's an evil tactic, but that's what they did. Now, let's get back to it, and I'll go deeper into that. With European contact, however, the concept, concept of slavery in North America began to change. African slavery was a lifetime condition that passed from generations to generation. The Spanish were the first to introduce African slaves to the continent with an established slave trading system in place prior to arrival of the English in the 17th century, which is the 1600s, right? Now, we know they're saying African, African, African. We have to prove that. We have to prove that. You know, we're not going to get into it right now. We'll get into it later. From the Cherokee, the use of African slaves for large-scale labor emerged after the United States became its own nation. Soon after the American Revolution, the United States government encouraged the Cherokee people to assimilate into American life and lead a more farm-based lifestyle that included subsisting farming, plantation farming, and ranching. Now, they were already doing farming. I don't understand that part, but I see it a lot. As a result, the Cherokee began to raise cash crops, such as tobacco and cotton. We know about King Cotton that required slave labor. In general, slaveholders in the Cherokee nation was limited to a wealthy minority of Cherokees, including Major Riggs. On this property, Major Rig owned 210 acre plantation with between 15 and 30 slaves tending to the fields and the house. The property has included three slave cabins. Slaves were typically extended to 10, expected to attend anywhere from five to 10 acres of land. Hmm, that's a lot. As well as any other extra duties given to them by their masters. We'll check all that information. The area between the posts you see marked approximately a fourth acre. 
to 10, five to 10 acres of land will require working and working an area 20 to 40 times the size of what you see here. We gonna break it down though. Take you to the water. A little bit of the trail. A little bit of the trail. Which way do we go? Right? Or do we go left? You know what they say? You come at that fork in the road, you gotta make a choice. Now, if I was a betting man, I would go towards the water. Cause see, it's what you do, family. Survival. I can't see no water, I can see woods. Right? But I had to make a choice. Some say go to the water. At least I can have some water. If I need to plant something, I can seed something, feed something. Or I can eat from the water. What you got over here? And this is closer. So we taking the left family. You know what I'm saying? Hashtag BOTG with back. Boots on the ground with back for what's mine. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we out here. People want to know what's going on. Sound like a crow back there. They go to the river right there, New Echoto River. Here we go. Here we go. Water a little darker. I guess that's that GA red clay than when we were at Etowah River. Looked like it was a bridge there. This is where the river ferry would be. This is where, where Major Riggs had his river ferry. He's getting money. You know what I mean? He's getting money. Get a little closer. We're going to go inside and see what's happening. All that money he was getting. Remember they say his house in 2015 appraised over a half a million dollars. Right? All right, we gonna go in the building and see what's up. We got a lot to go through, family. Hashtag BOTG with back. Appreciate y'all rocking with me. If you like, cash app, dollar sign, 3730B. That's a capital B. 100, let's ride. Said our mind and bodies intertwined You don't need to fall to the call Cause they said so You don't need to fall to the call Cause they said so You don't need to fall to the call Cause they said so You don't need to fall to the 